Hello, welcome to my channel, Ida the Intuitive. I'm Ida. And today I'm going to talk about the symbolism of the chariot card. And the reason why I want to talk about this card is because I kind of just kind of re-understood what it means, like what it really, really means. And I'll tell you how I came to that conclusion. I've been watching a lot of Charles Brockman videos where he does the like redos of Disney movies, right? Where he does like the awkward like... You know, like basically making fun of, of Disney and like just the acting and stuff. And so poking fun. And so there was one where it was a Hannah Montana episode. And in this episode, and it's funny because I was I've been singing the song The Climb lately. It's always gonna be another mountain. It's always gonna be another. And so something about that energy too, you know, like the climb. And honestly, the climb is fucking exhausting right now. Like, I don't know if you're fucking tired, but I'm tired, you know? But I digress. It was a clip where Hannah is like talking to a horse. And this horse is like, I guess, giving her guidance or whatever. And she's like going back and forth with the horse, but the horse it's kind of like in the mirror, I guess. I don't even remember. I haven't watched the show in so long, right? So I couldn't tell you the episode, but it was just a quick clip. And the horse in the end ends up saying like something about, you know, having to make certain decisions or, or moving from the heart. And then he's like, I'm you. And then the horse turns into Hannah's reflection in the mirror. And for whatever reason, right when I saw that, I was like, oh shit, that's the chariot card. That's the meaning of the chariot card. And it can represent even moving from your shadow, but moving from an intuitive, heart-driven place. And you know, it's like your heart channels many many different feelings right so when you have a happy heart you might make certain decisions when you have a broken heart you might make certain decisions a resentful heart right a passionate heart so it's like all of these these different feelings you when you move from the heart when you make an intuitive decision or or a um just like, this is what I want to do, right? And, and you're not really thinking about anything else. And I think that sometimes I'll look at the chariot card and think of it as a negative thing, right? Of like, this is somebody just moving solely from, um, from ego, right? I'm fuck it, I'll just do what I want to do. But then it's like, in some cases, the chariot is literally like a beautiful way to stand in your power because what is a chariot i mean it's a horse right so like getting on your horse type energy hold on i'm gonna have to change the way i'm sitting unfortunately i cannot sit like this for too long Ooh, did y'all just hear my hip pop i don't know hold on Mm, let me see, what can I do? Give me a second. Any, I'll just, let me just, I don't want to give you that angle. <clears throat> I'll just do this. But yeah, so moving... moving from a place of standing in your own power and just making the decisions that you want to make for yourself, right? And so I think that wielding is what I heard, but I don't know, we, that makes me think wielding the sword, but kind of like holding the power that um, comes from 
just your own natural intuitive needs to make an action can sometimes be, you know, the right choice to make, the right decision to make. And um, I just understood that differently for whatever reason after seeing that little quick clip. And he's like, you know, I'm you. And then it's like the horse just and turns into Hannah's reflection. And I'm like, oh shit. And I think also for some of us, we're so used to holding back. We're really used to asking other people, asking God, asking somebody else, asking our own conscience, you know, what is the best decision to make? And that's a beautiful skill to have. Some people really need that and don't use it at all. But it can also turn in for some folks to overthinking when every little decision, even if there's something that in our soul we feel like we know that we need to do and we won't do it, even and then it almost feels like it bites us in the ass anyways. You know what I mean? And I just think that, um, I don't know, it's just something to think about. It's something to think about. So when you're thinking of the chariot card, it's that free will. And that's another thing I was going to say. There's a psalm. I don't remember the psalm, the exact one, but it's about a free will offer. It mentions a free will offer, giving up a free will offer to God, right? Like knowing what you want to do and then doing something else instead. And um, I guess I should say knowing what you want to do, but taking God's advice instead, taking your higher conscience advice instead, right? And so I'm just gonna be moving around cause I'm just like not in a comfy position at all. But so, you know, that's basically what it is, a free will offer a free will offer to go in this direction, a free will offer to make this decision, a free, your free will. And that's, you hear tarot readers say that a lot. Everybody has free will, you know? So I also want to say for those of us, if you feel like you've been taking a lot of shit and you know it's unjust and you know that you don't deserve to be treated that way or you know that like, this is not what I want. This is not how I see my life looking it's okay to take a free will offer and this is especially for my like you know those who are really not new to this true to this you know who have done a lot of self-work who have really like put in a lot of effort you know to be a good person to be to be to be to be and then you know it's like still though sometimes you have to take a free will offer you know sometimes you have to just take free will you know or take a chance or or try something or or do something new right or say no the free will offer to say no okay because how many times do you have people trying to push you into a direction you don't want to go into say no that's, you have the free will to say no and to see how it fucking turns out when you say no. Because also there's a lot of energy of people trying to push folks into corners, okay? And like say, oh, you need to do this or what if you do this or this is this and you should do this. And you also have a free will offer to say, fuck no. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's okay. This energy wouldn't exist if it weren't for all of us to use. And especially when you're on a fucking track with a bunch of other horses that want to push you around and push you on track. Maybe you need to be the horse that goes off road. Maybe you need to be the horse that says, nah, I'm not running with the pack today. You know, it's like, that's your free will to make a decision. 
And sometimes I feel like when you are really in touch, your free will decision is actually the decision that the Most High already wants you to make. But because you second guess yourself or because you feel weird, you know, you might not make it or you might just hold back either way. So that's just what I was feeling from the chariot card. And I just feel like it's something to think about for, for everyone, you know, like how do you embody the chariot? How do you carry yourself from here to there? You know, what decisions do you, do you make? Is it working for you? Is it not working for you? Do you even know, right? Like I just literally heard that in my own head. Do you even fucking know? But I'm just saying these are all things to think about. Things to think about. This is the energy of that card. Like, and sometimes not even thinking about it, right? But like getting on your chariot and going where your free will guides you to go. And that it's like, it's between you and, and you, you and your shadow, you and whatever like decision that you wanna make. And even like just a one person chariot is what I'm hearing. Like nobody else is hopping on this fucking chariot. You know what I mean? It's just me on here and i know where i need to be and where will i end up i don't know right like it's not even to say it'll be in the place that i thought it would be or the best place but it's also kind of that feeling of like what is perfection and what is you know like sometimes you just gotta end up where you're at i hope that's making sense y'all but that's just really what i got with this card and i thought it was really interesting and then it's funny this song that i just heard for the first time today by any was called charge it and what do horses do right charge and i'm like oh you know like wow and she's talking about basically just like making a decision with somebody else despite the fact that you know like it hurts her in some way, but that's still like charge it. And then it also makes me think charge it like credit card, right? Kind of like, she's talking like charge it to the game, <laughs> but it's kind of like that, charge it to the credit card, pay for it later type of energy. And so I just thought that was interesting when I heard that song, I'm like, that totally goes with the message that I got last night, right? And like, That's the chariot energy. That's the chariot energy. And where are you gonna guide yourself with, with that free will that you have? So, you know. Other things that I'm picking up. So somebody, I don't know, this may resonate with somebody. Someone wants to charge it to the game and stick, stick it out with somebody. I'm also picking up, I've been picking this up about credit card or like somebody trying to get someone to overuse a credit card so that they can um, jail them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I did pick that up. Yes, I did pick that up. So uh, yeah, trying to use a credit card against somebody in order to um, get them in prison, basically, to go to prison for credit card fraud, but then encouraging them to use the fucking card. Yes. So there's that, too. Charge. Charge! Where are my cards? I'm gonna put that shit, like, here. They're right over here.
And I'm also kind of picking up being like trapped by your chariot. Like a horse that's just like, fuck it. And then you're stuck on the horse. Like, you know what I mean? You're stuck on the horse and it's already guiding you in a certain direction. And it's like, you can't turn it back either. You know what I mean? trying to see if there's any other symbolism that I should touch on with this card but I feel like I kind of wanted to just be a little quick a little quick tidbit So yeah, I mean, it's definitely like a masculine energy position to be in as well. Ooh. Like, it definitely is like, easy to be in your ego when you're using your free will as well. So I think that's really kind of all I wanted to say. But it just like really resonated for me at that time of like, oh, that's the chariot. That's the chariot. And I feel like it can be looked at kind of negatively too though, right? Like, I don't know. In readings, it's like, here go, here goes somebody, the, the chariot. You know, just like dealing with 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 somebody who is just like heinous with their actions all the fucking time and like maybe you're someone who just doesn't do that or or, or considers everyone's free will or like everyone's needs and then you're constantly forced to deal with folks that literally just think about their own needs you know their own chariot and how they're gonna get there and so you kind of have to sometimes meet that with the same energy. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm really feeling. That sometimes you have to meet that energy with the same energy, you know? Wild, wild west energy i have another reading i'm about to upload with um where i talk about that a little bit wow wow west which what is that horses okay so that's gonna relate to the next video that i post horse chariot energy okay so that's all um hope it resonated take care and until next time bye